What's up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jabby. I'm Achara Kirk, and it's not Super Bowl yet, as far as I'm aware, but the Super Bowl trailers have been dropping. So I have in front of me the Super Bowl TV spot for A Quiet Place Part 2. What more can they show us without spoiling anything? Let's find out. Right. What do we got? Some kind of fire? We got units headed out there now. <laughs> I don't know why he came all the way up here. He won't survive. There are people out there. People worth saving. I don't know about that. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, there's also a Quiet Place Part 2 Super Bowl featurette. Let's check that out. Let's go. Quiet Place Part 2 picks up right where Quiet Place Part 1 left off. The idea of these kids and this family dealing with their safety net being taken from them. Evelyn is now a single parent, newborn baby, the barn's burnt down, the house yeah. is destroyed, and she's out there on her own and she has to protect these children. They are forced to go out into the world and see how other people live. So they literally leave the path of safety and go into the unknown. Oh, how symbolic. <clears throat> It's harrowing, it's terrifying, but at the core of it, it's a very human story. I don't know why you came all the way up here. There's nothing left. Please. She's just trying to keep everybody alive and discover that there's other people out there and the world changes in an instant. There are people out there worth saving. You don't know, do you? I do. We've answered all those questions that the audience was asking about day one, especially how did this all start? Every step is much more treacherous. It definitely ratchets up the tension and you know uh. they're not safe. Yep, definitely excited for that bad boy. That, I mean, I was already excited when the first trailer came out. I like that they didn't really show too much more, although that was a nice little jump scare in the TV spot that I hadn't seen before. But of course, jump scares get me every time. I'm sorry if I scared you more with my reaction than the actual trailer did, but like, I just don't like things jumping out at me, okay? Whether that's in a movie or in real life. I mean, if you are unfortunate enough to like sneak up behind me and just speak to me in a normal way, like I'm just standing there and you're just like, hey, Chara, I'll just be like, ah! and just lose my mind. Um, yeah, don't sneak up on me. It's not great for your eardrums. I apologize. I actually really enjoyed that featurette because it's kind of nice hearing the people who worked on it talk about, you know, what went into it and stuff. And yeah, it's going to be really cool to see the origins, like how it all started. It was nice as well to see John Krasinski for a second in the beginning of that TV spot. And then again, I've, I'd forgotten that he was directing this, of course. So we still get a little bit of John Krasinski in the movie and his touches throughout the movie because he's the director and it's nice because him and Emily Blunt can work together and it's like husband and wife they get to spend all day and then go home and then talk some more and probably by the end of it they're like oh I'm so bored of you can we just not do this anymore just kidding I'm sure it's lovely to be able to work with your partner and and you know just enjoy all of that and share all of that together. I think they're so cute. I have no idea how they're going to ratchet up the tension even more because the first movie was just so suspenseful already. And like the idea is so cool because, you know, you can't make a sound and then watching it in the theater was one of the best movie theater experiences I've ever had because you could just feel the tension. It was palpable all around. Everybody 
was so silent, no one made a sound because we were all invested in the characters and what was going on on screen. And it's kind of crazy because it's like, they can't hear you, you know, you're gonna be fine. But meanwhile, everybody's just like, and you certainly don't want to be eating any popcorn because then you're being noisy, then the monsters are gonna get you, then, you know, dead. I have no idea how they're gonna just take that tension from a 10 up to like an 11 or a 12. How are they gonna do that? Because I, I can't even fathom in my little pea brain how that's gonna work out, but I am excited to see it. I don't know if I've said this before, I probably have, but I love the look of the cast. I mean, Killian Murphy, I adore. I have, I have had an obsession with him for years. I think he's a really great actor as well. He's so versatile, and so it's really exciting to see him in this. And then Jaimon Honsu is brilliant. I love him. And of course, Emily Blunt. I just think she is so awesome. I, I, I could watch her in anything, and so I am so excited to watch her in this. This is one of those, like, horror movies that actually really appeals to me because it's, it's kind of more of that you know, tension feeling as opposed to a lot of blood and gore. I mean, I hope there isn't gonna be a lot of blood and gore in this because I don't really remember that being something that was a big part of the first one. So I, I'm hoping it's gonna just kind of be more of that suspenseful horror. And I find like that's more scary because I don't know about you, but my imagination kind of kicks into overdrive and I'm already like, going through scenarios and I'm like really, really stressed out and I'm really scared and it's just, it's just a lot is going on. And so that for me is a more terrifying experience than just watching a bunch of people get hacked or monsters eating people and like the severed limbs and heads and whatever, just lying around blood spurting everywhere. I mean, that's okay. I'm still scared of that stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's more like I'm grossed out by it. And after a while, you just get desensitized. Whereas is this it feels so much more you know immersive and it's just like ah, the fear is killing me inside but I love it and I keep coming back for more there's a lot of talk in the movie about you know oh the other people aren't worth saving you don't know what's out there they're so evil and you know it kind of has that post-apocalyptic feel of a lot of movies a lot of content out there where it's like oh the world is falling apart the zombies are getting us but you gotta be afraid of the people but so far the only other people we've seen are Killian Murphy and Jaimon Honsu's band of people and so the question I have is are they actually good people or are they actually the bad people that they're talking about and um, is Emily Blunt and her family being taken for a ride basically because you know maybe they're the bad guys oh my gosh a revelation or not maybe that's just complete BS and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about but I mean, I haven't seen anyone, but then again, that's probably just something that they're keeping for the movie. Thank God, because I've seen a bunch of stuff about this movie now and I'm glad that I don't really have an idea of what twists there might be. I feel like they haven't really revealed that, so I'm happy about that because yeah, I, nowadays, you know, especially when you're really excited about something and there's a lot of ads and featurettes and, and whatnot about it, it feels like you can get to the theater and there really isn't any mystery left, you know, you've seen everything there is to see, why bother watching the movie, apart from, you know, the fantastic experience of seeing it on the big screen. But with this, I'm like, okay, well, you've, you've showed me some stuff, but there's still more to see, so. I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait until March 20th, 2020 to get the answers to all my questions, of which there are not many. Um, anyway, you guys, what do you think? Are you excited for this movie? Any theories about what might happen? I saw a funny little comment about how maybe Killian Murphy was going to be Emily Blunt's love interest and therefore would it be weird for John Krasinski to direct that? Who knows? Um, or it might just be fun. 
maybe he enjoys that. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you know whenever we drop another video. And check out our other reactions, reviews, interviews, vlogs. I think that's all we do so far. Uh, I'm Achara Kirk. Ciao.